Well, she has been called the mother of all mothers. Lisa Schroeder has been the owner and chef of the beloved Mother's Bistro in downtown Portland for more than two decades. Now, those years have come with great success, but also personal tragedy, a pandemic, and repeated vandalism. As still, Chef Lisa has continued to find ways to give, hoping to lift up a city in turmoil. And that's why she's this week's Remarkable Women finalist. Make sure you have two sets easy. Yep. Flynn, you have a, a reggae stock. Yes. Kid cake banana. Yep. Brecky ham. Yep. Anyone who's experienced Chef Lisa Schroeder may have a hard time imagining her doing anything else. All right, so I'm starting up table 17. This goes with no toast here, it goes with the sausage. But this was not always Lisa's plan. After growing up in Philadelphia, she moved to Israel, got married, and came back to America pregnant. My husband wasn't really making money, so I had to also go make money as well as raise our child. Lisa says her husband was abusive and she left him when their daughter Stephanie was six. She took a series of jobs, including at Publishers Clearinghouse and Weight Watchers. But the single mother came to a crossroads wanting to become a lawyer, but also dreaming of a career in food. And one day I had the epiphany, wait a minute, I can get all this food pizza, Chinese food, but where can I get mother food? The kind of food that I would make if I had time. And that's what I realized that the world needed a place that served mother food. The idea for Mother's Bistro was born. It would come years later after attending the Culinary Institute in New York and working at many restaurants. And while she was doing all of that, Lisa found love again, but he lived in Portland. I always knew I'd open up Mother's in a city other than New York. I just didn't know what the city was. Here's this great guy in Portland. I'll move out to Portland and open Mothers. If it works out with him, great. If not, I'm in the right city for Mothers, and that's how I ended up doing Mothers here. It worked out with her now husband, Rob, but the road to opening Mothers in 2000 was not easy. It's very hard for a woman in the restaurant business, period, because the men will sabotage you left and right. They do not want to see you succeed. Succeed she did, though. Mothers constantly saw a line of people outside of its original location on Stark Street, and the Willamette Week was quick to name it restaurant of the year in its first year. Lisa's only child, Stephanie, then in her 20s, was there for the launch. She was here throughout that time, helping me, you know, coming up with great ideas. One great idea, a mother of the month, or mom, honoring different mom's dishes on the menu. How you doing? Mexi chop was good today? Delicious as all always. Right. Delicious good. as always. Lisa quickly became a beloved fixture in the Rose City, serving up comfort while treating her customers like family. What she brings to the table is, is, uh, is pretty comforting. Yeah. And I think, I, I believe in her high standards and food. So when tragedy struck Lisa in 2016, it felt like all of Portland was mourning with her. Her daughter Stephanie was hiking with her twin boys when one of them fell off a crumbling edge at Horsetail Falls. He survived, but Stephanie died trying to save him. It's very ironic that I have a restaurant called Mother's and now I'm daughterless. Um, but, um, you know, I love my daughter through her children. And I realize that um, when I hear her in my, in my mind saying, take care of my kids, take care of my kids. And so that is my focus. That's it, nice and gentle. Lisa and Rob are helping to raise the boys, now 11. She works a lot, she cooks for us, um, drives us to school, and I really appreciate that. Um, gives us a massage for five minutes every night. Whoa! You revealed that! Wow! <laughs> A few years after the tragedy in 2019, a bright spot came for her business. Lisa moved a few blocks into a bigger space in downtown on the first floor of the Embassy Suites by Hilton Hotel. The move itself turned into a huge street party and parade. I've never seen this before in terms of a restaurant move, well, right? Well, no, I don't think anybody's ever done this before, but then again, Mother's isn't like any other restaurant. 
One year later, the pandemic hit. Lisa was juggling homeschooling the twins and how to keep her restaurant going. And like many Portland businesses, it was a frequent target of vandalism. Unfazed, Lisa kept giving back. Use our spaces for feeding the homeless. When we had to shut down, we drove everything to the Blanchett house so that they could uh, use the food that we had just paid for but couldn't. Mother's was one of few restaurants that survived the pandemic, but then the fentanyl crisis started overtaking the streets of Portland. So what I want people to understand is, yes, there are homeless that need our compassion and our care, and then there are the drug users that whose main live reason for being is to get their drug, use their drug, and get more of the drug. And this is what is killing Portland. Last year, Lisa and Coins Jeff Gianola walked from her restaurant to an open air fentanyl market at Southwest 4th and Washington. As she showed what business owners and people who come to downtown are dealing with on a daily basis. Lisa also appeared on Coins Town Hall that covered the fentanyl crisis, and Lisa has not backed down. I was a member of Governor Kotex Governor's Task Force for downtown Portland, where myself and 50 other business leaders gathered, brainstormed, and tried to figure out ways to improve the state of our city. I go to downtown retail council meetings, which we try to help to get people back downtown and encourage them downtown. The community knows it, awarding Lisa Oregon's Small Business Person of the Year in 2023. As her website says, it's all about the love for the city she's made her home, customers who become family, or stepping into the role of mother to her young grandsons. And that's my mission. So um, making two lives really, really good in addition to other people's lives in my restaurant is um, a big focus of mine. And uh, I think, you know, we can affect change in, in one human. If we can make one great human or two and have them be great people on this planet, um, the world will be a better place. So, you know, I, I do it at home and I do it publicly too. Now we do have a link to Mother's Bistro on coin.com. And of course, don't forget to watch next Tuesday when we reveal our final Remarkable Women finalist.